In this video, we are going to see how we can deal with the purchase returns in Odoo. As we have the transaction of 22nd of January, which says return 10 Karula windscreen to Mr. Matthew. That means we are returning items back to our vendor. So it's at 400 per unit and it's 10 Karula windscreens. Now we have two choices. Either we have to create a separate credit note completely unlinked to the previous invoice, but that is not nice because this purchase returns is against the earlier purchase that we have made. So what we will do is we will locate the purchase invoice first and then against that we will create a return. And it's very simple to do it in Odoo. Let me show you how. First of all, just head over to the accounting and click on the vendors and click on bills. Now we have the bill here for Mr. Matthew right here. It's 29,500. It's already posted. Let's just open this. And against that, we want to create a return. So we have this option right at the top, which says credit note. Just click on this. And the reason to display on credit note, we can just copy this narration here and paste it right here. Journal is purchase of inventory. Because we have created and linked it to purchase of inventory in the journal option, uh, it will show the same option here. So reversal date is what? 22nd of January. 22nd of January. Now it says reverse or reverse and create invoice. I'll just click on reverse and it will create a draft credit note. Notice that this is a draft credit note where now you can adjust all the items that you need to return actually. So it has completely transferred that bill into a return. I'll just delete the extra items that we don't want to return. We only want to return Karula windscreen and quantity field Let's enable the quantity in the product. So quantity is 10. Product is Corolla windscreen. Let's check the journal items. Item is returned back, so it should be deducted from the stock. So it's credit and accounts payable against that is debit because it will reduce the overall balance. So that's perfect. 22nd January is the date and all set. Just click on confirm. And now if I want to check the returns, I just click on the vendors and click on refunds and here is the reversal created right here and this is how you do it just try this by yourself and i'll see you in the next one